what you guys got another quick video here for you on how to check wi-fi speeds in windows 10. now this is a very quick video so i'll show you a bunch of different ways you can find out uh, these results using different methods now there's other ways of doing this with software and things like that but we're just going to keep this to the windows 10 environment where you can check things out so first off let's start off with the first one where we go down to the search box here and what we're going to do here is type in uh, this word here which is n e t sh click on the run command here this will open up the command prompt box here inside here you're going to type out this command here and this will give you the information of your wi-fi uh, network so let's go ahead and type that out so the first word we're going to do is wlan and then we're going to go space and then do show and then space then interface once you're inside here it's going to give you all the information of that wi-fi uh, connection you've got the description you've got the channel here which you're connected to channel 44 you've got the receive rate and the transfer rate and the signal strength of the wi-fi signal strength there you've also got your profile which is your ssid and also you've got your other information on here which is useful like your authentication which is your wpa2 personal and your radio type which is 802.11 ac so by just using that short, quick command there, we're going to get the information that we need about the speed and the transfer rate or transmit rate in this case for this Wi-Fi connection. You can do speed tests and stuff like that as well to cross-reference whether you're getting a good sort of speed, but you can see the signal rate is pretty good there. So let's move on to the next place where you can go into settings here and we're going to go into the network and internet. Once you're inside here, we're going to need to click on our Wi-Fi icon here once you're in here you can then come back down and what we're looking for on the right hand side we're going to click on the network and sharing and you should see your internet connection here there's other places to get to this as well and you can see the speed here gives you the speed in there as well it also gives you ssid and just about about it really it does give you the send and receive um bytes there which you can take a look at as all well. and also the signal quality which will be listed in there as well. So let's move on to another area where we can take a look at to get some more information. So we're going to go back into the settings pane here and then go back into network and internet. Inside here, we can go to status. Once you're inside status, what we're going to do is come down to the bottom area and we're going to view hardware and connection properties. And we're going to click on this and it will give us the information that we require about all of the connections that we've got on this computer so let's click on this and you can see here wi-fi 2 and it gives you the name and description of uh, the network card that you're using it also gives you uh, the maximum transfer unit which is 1500 and also we've got the link speed here receive and transmit and a bunch of other information in there that is quite useful to you like your mac addresses and stuff like that as well which i blurred out so next up we're going to go to our powershell and open up powershell and when you paste in this command which i'll leave in the video description you can paste this one in here and it will give you the name the status and the link speed of your wi-fi connection and you can see here it also shows you the ethernet connection on there which i've got disabled at the moment because i'm connected to wi-fi gives you the up status and also gives you the link speed which is listed there 866.7 and you've got also the VMware, which is in there as well, and Bluetooth. Anyway, I think that's just about it for this video. Now, again, you can use software to get some of this stuff as well, but it's useful to learn this sort of things. This has just been a really super quick video today. Been ultra busy this week, so I've not had much time to uh, get the sort of content out that I'd like to get out. But I'll try my best uh, to get what I can out to give you guys something to watch. Anyway, with that said, I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now.